What's up everyone, it's Andy, and I'm here to tell you about our newest built-in cloud primitive, Dino Cron. That's right, Cron jobs built right into the runtime, just like KVN queues. There is a link to the blog in the description, but if you want to sit back and relax, I will cover all you need to know to use Cron today. Dino Cron takes three arguments, the name, the schedule in a Cron expression, and a handler function, which is invoked each time the job is ran. Let's take this Cron job and put it into main.ts and run it. Here's a sped up recording of the output. We can see that cron job is working because every minute there's a console log. Another way Dino cron is easier than a regular cron job is that Dino cron will automatically retry the handler if there's an exception. And to make it even easier for you to use Dino cron, Dino cron executions do not overlap. That means Dino automatically skips the next scheduled run if the current task is still running. Dino cron is also available on Dino deployed today and it works without incoming traffic or even a web server. Let's define a cron job in a playground right now. After we add the cron job, let's hit save and deploy. This will wait a minute and then you can see that the console is logged with the message that we had in our cron job. You'll notice that even without a dino.serve or some web server, the cron job is still detected and will run. That's because whenever you make a production deployment, an ephemeral V8 isolate will detect all your project's cron definitions. And it'll also appear on this new cron tab in your projects page. Now let's check our logs and you can see that the cron job is working successfully because of the console output. And if you want to get rid of this cron job, all we have to do is comment it out and redeploy. Going back to the cron tab, you'll see that there are no longer any cron jobs. And if we check the logs, you'll notice the cron output is gone too. And that's it for Dino Cron. For more details, check out the blog post and the documentation. And if you have any questions, please let us know in the comments or on Discord. <laughs>